Okay. Welcome Sorry. to our first proper Bulgarian meal. We took a couple of days to just take it easy. A little bit Once of a cold. We, yeah. We, we mentioned the cold we had at the end of the train trip. So we took a couple of days just to try and get over that here while we were here in Plovdiv. Uh, and we've been exploring, but <clears throat> today's our first real day of exploration uh, and food exploration. So we're trying some traditional Bulgarian meals. First off, Tarator, which is one of Sherry's new favorites. She really liked the Iran in, in Turkey, but here in Bulgaria they do Tarator, which is almost the same thing. It's still sour yogurt, but they mix it with cucumber, and dill and this one has like little flakes of something. Walnut? I think I it's know. walnut. Walnut? Yeah. Um, so that's like a cold soup. You're supposed to eat it like a cold soup. And then we got... Check, check the traditional writings of check, the menu. Check the, <laughs> the Bible of Bulgarian. The Bulgarian experience in traditional clay pot. Traditional dish of cooked butter beans with porcini mushrooms and spices. Yeah, you can open it up. Served with a variety of Bulgarian meat and dairy specialties. So then there's the it's cheese. Start doing it with one hand. I can oh, see it's, it. it's butter beans. Nice. Carrots, mushrooms, deliciousness. And and look at this traditional pot. My goodness. Some nice toasted bread. Some salami. And some cheese. Looks delicious. Right. Looks good. And I got local beer. Which he's taking the bottle away, but a little bit. Pretty nice, huh? Cheers. Cheers. So how is it? Nicest bread I've ever had. Nicest bread you've <laughs> ever had? Yeah. Sure. I'm not a big bread fan. Look, it's really good bread, but I don't know if it's the nicest I've ever had. <laughs> it wasn't cooked by my mum. The soup... <laughs> the soup is delicious. It might not taste. look very appetizing now, but... Super hearty and seemingly great mm. for a cold. This mm. is like exactly what we kind of needed. I'd say it's just perfect. I can't get over this little hanging pot. That's so. Cool. I know it's so pretty. <laughs> what was what you were explaining to me about the good luck of the tablecloth? Oh, so this the tablecloth here. Up here. The tablecloth. Unique Bulgarian symbol of decoration of clothing. It's more it's more the embroidery than it is the tablecloth. Mm. But it says here, Bulgarian embroidery, decoration of clothes and objects at homes carries a lot of mysticism related to our culture and life. It's a form of art that conveys a wish of health, love, and prosperity. People believed that embroidery had the power to maintain harmony and balance. It's balanced. Ding 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 ding. Like the pot. And then also Bulgarian tricolor. The Bulgarian national flag has its origins from the Renaissance, Renaissance period. <clears throat> Each of its colors carries a message. White symbolizes freedom and youth. Green, our beautiful mountains and reviving life. Red, the sacrifice of our persecutors and mother's blood. Wow. Wow. Cool. Cool. Uh, the rose, the wheat, they're symbols of special places in the hearts of people since ancient times and fertility for the wheat ancient monuments and beauty of nature yeah, it's cool we really like plugged in check it out it's cool little street that we're sitting in everyone's hey, everyone about the cheese here, like the bulgarians they're just so relaxed Chill. Everyone is really relaxed. So chill. I mean, okay, we came from Istanbul to here, but like... Slightly more stressed. More than just the difference between Istanbul and here. They're just seriously chill people, mm. Bulgarians. Yeah, we really like it. We're digging, and nice. We're digging the vibe. Good way to start our Balkan adventure. Sour yogurt. But yeah. This one's better than the one you had the other day. Yeah. It is walnuts in there. Yeah. See, cucumber, dill, chives or something, I think. Yeah, it's probably chives. Anything with dill has a it's special a place in my heart. <laughs> it's a big dill. Eating. 
<laughs> oh, it wasn't recording. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode where we're eating food Eating delicious again. Bulgarian food. Hell oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, only the first two plates of our feast have arrived. Potato with mushroom. Potato and mushroom, easy peasy. <laughs> Probably not very Bulgarian, but perhaps it is. And? Uh, Do you the name of it? I don't remember the name of it. Pork Kavama. Pork Kavama. So it's a pork stew. Looks beautiful. This is Bulgarian. Pork stew with onions and carrots and mushrooms and red peppers diced and tomatoes and white wine and sunflower oil and oh, cumin and all damn. the good stuff. Give it a go, dude. Mmm. Super hearty. Tasty? Mmm. Yeah, I feel like they've been cooking it for a long time. You reckon? Yeah, the, I, do, I do like most restaurants, you assume not, but well, the meat's positive, really so tender. They've been cooking it for 8,000 years. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very old city. Mmm. Yeah, that's fantastic. Tasty. Oh. That's the red pepper. Get that red pepper. Mmm. Mm. Rating? Mmm. Maybe 8 out of 10? 8 out of 10, wow. Yeah. Must be good. I haven't tried it yet. Try it. I'll try it. <laughs> uh, we'll check back in in a sec when we've got our other plates. Oh, nice. <laughs> More food has arrived. So here we have stuffed mushroom with cheese and mints very cutely duped in there little <laughs> duped a little dupe little little meatball little on top of the mushroom cabbage that's, that's nice cabbage carrot yeah. yeah oily sauce delicious looks delicious and here we have merkez 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 homemade sausage with what <laughs> with lamb and veal lamb and veal sorry lamb and veal <laughs> I'm, d I'm delusional because it looks so delicious. What's Cabbage, yeah. uh, pickle, potato, uno olive, uh, red pepper, more pickle, another nice juicy pepper, and um, mushroom saucy? Yeah, mushroom, mushroom sauce. sauciness. Yeah, it's delicious. Into the potato. Yeah. That'd be delicious. How's the sausage taste? Yeah, well, Wait. I'm going to beat you to it now. Oh, they're nice. Yeah? Oh, they're nice. All right, I'm going to slice it up because I'm not a barbarian. <laughs> I am. <laughs> they're nice, huh? That is nice. I don't know why, but that flavor takes me back to like... When you go for the buffet breakfast in like the fancy like family holiday, yeah, it's kind of got that same flavour, but it's like a bit more elevated than like that. A sausage flavour. A sausage flavour. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're not food critics. We're doing the best we can. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good. And yeah, nice. I'm keen to try one of these little mushroom meatballs. The pork, this is delicious. The, the pork is just That's so soft. That's what I mean, it's, it's really tender. Melty. Super soft. Check check the inside of the mush. I like any kind of stew, but this stew is good. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want you to miss it. A little meatball. Mmm, hot. Hot. Beautiful. Impeccable. Outstanding. And some more local beer. Careful of the glass. Uh, this is Zagorka. I think it's local. Maybe it's not. The other one we had, the Kamenitsa, that, that, that is local. Yes. This is also I think, very nice. I, I think this is local beer. Mm. I'm not sure. I'll have, to, I'll have to do a Google search. I'll correct, I'll correct myself in the caption below. I was looking for our waiter. He's calling around here somewhere. He's very fluffy with two big ears on top. Pop off. He kind of, yeah, pop yeah, off. I saw pop off. There he goes, over there. It's a really cute little place, too. He kind of just brings the food over and leaves it. It's a really nice little place. 
Uh, actually, no, all, no, it's not little. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. But it's nice because it's all, quiet. All outside. Oh, it's a Monday. It's a Monday. Yeah. It's three fifty on a Monday. And it's hot. It's hot today. Yeah. I didn't think Bulgaria got well. I didn't think Plovdiv got like hot, but today is about twenty nine degrees. Yeah. It's nice. When when we got off of the train the other day, it was pretty early in the morning. It was like six in the morning. And it was cold. It was, it was eight degrees. It was pretty chilly. I checked. It was. And eight. we were like, "Uh oh, here we go. The winter has begun." Yeah, cold weather. Is Which upon okay, us. like growing up, if I ever imagined myself coming to Bulgaria or the Balkans, I, I would imagine it being cold, kind of gloomy, mm-hmm. gritty, dark, and cold. But but it's beautiful and it's sunny. Yeah, since this totally wasn't what I expected. Exploring the city since uh, in the daytime. And in the afternoon, it's actually perfect temp. I wouldn't even say perfect temp. I could take it a little bit colder than this, but yeah. it's nice. <laughs> yeah, we were a little worried at the very beginning there, weren't we? But then we had that was going to be really chilly. We had a taste of the food, and I'm m- like, oh, a, it's fine. A meat of the locals, and they are so friendly, <laughs> so friendly and nice. Um, anyway, we're going to enjoy our food, and we'll check in later if there is any more cool food bul- that we're bul- trying. Bulgarian delicacies to inform you on. So far the food's pretty damn good. Thanks for joining. Altogether I'd say uh, 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Yeah. As for all of the Bulgarian food we've had so far, it's pretty, pretty top notch. similar drink. It's an anise drink made of aniseed. Um, come back. You my helper. Come back. Come back. I want him to sit with me. Come back. Yes. On my left. On my left. <laughs> on my left. Uh, it, they have their own anise drinks. Uh, and like I've had ouzo before, which is the Greeks one, and I didn't know that you, if you were meant to mix it, I didn't. I just shot it like a shot. And so this is this is the drink. And now, okay, sorry, come back. We're in Bulgaria. I'm pretty sure this is called r- rakia here. In Greece, it's ouzo. In Turkey, it was rakia. And. In Greece, in Turkey, when I had it, 
I was walking around and I noticed that everyone had these little short glasses with like a milky water. It looked like mil milky water. And for the whole time we were there, I was like, I want to know what these guys are all drinking. And then I eventually, I ordered rakia and they served it to me with water and they did this. They mixed the drink with the water and it turned the hard liquor into, well, you meant to do it with ice too. I don't leave much space for the ice now. And so it turns, it turns the shot of liquor into, obviously diluted, but it's still strong. And he's drinking, it's delicious. If you like black licorice, you'll love it. If you like Bongella, which is like, what you put on mouth ulcers, which I did as a kid, and I used to just eat the Bongella because I love the taste of it so much. It tastes exactly like that. They've, they've obviously made Bongella to taste like this or with anise. Uh, cheers. And a little help. <laughs> You're very inquisitive. His name is Rocket. Your name is Rocket. Rocket. Hello, Rocket. Have you know, black licorice is like pretty much my favorite thing on the planet, <laughs> other than sherry and cats. Uh, and so this this is really my kind of drink, that's for sure. Can, can I try a little bit? You try it. He's very he he really wants to be involved. <laughs> <laughs> it is very it, it is a really unique taste you like it more with the water right yeah 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 so i'm curious if you meant to actually mix the ouzo like this as well i know Whereas rather than straight i didn't realize that you were meant to mix it and so i was just drinking it straight when we were in greece and then in tokyo i so this is how they're doing it. I asked the guy here in Bulgaria, is this how you do it? He said, yes, this is how you do it. So I have the same ones on the